I'll ask you about Casey Collins. Kind of that thing started to click for him. Well, it's starting to uh, better, obviously. Um, I know that you know, like a lot of guys, uh, they're in their first year. You know, they're still growing pains. But you would think by this time of the year, you'd be you know, you're not a freshman anymore, blah blah blah. But still, you know, we still have that with a lot of guys. So, but you know, he's he's got a world of talent, and we knew that when we recruited him. And uh, he's getting better and better and better. What's been the difference for him the last couple of weeks? He's gotten a lot more Just playing time. Yeah, but I mean, why, it's why hard to not more? hard to make. Well, what happened is earlier in the season and in camp, and you try to play him, then they make you know, mistakes that hurt the team. And then, you know, you try to get over and try to coach them and they just kind of, and Tyrell Tom was in kind of in that same boat. Terrifically talented is that when they quit making the mistakes that hurt, you know, and how you quit making mistakes. Well, you, you focus and you learn how to prepare and you just kind of get a feel for things. And, uh, so I think both those guys in my eyes are in the same boat. Nick, what needs to happen in the final three games to give you some confidence that things are going, to, going in the right direction well, and that kind of thing? You know what? It, sometimes what you see on Saturdays, um, to make sure I say this the right way, we're making progress. And, and I'll give you a great example. The two guys we just talked about, and, and Nazir, and Drennan, and Alan Artis, and, 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 and. So, um, we are making progress. It will happen sometimes, like last week, if we make somebody makes a mistake and they were good enough to take a not hit the gap right to a 90-yard run, then you know, then it doesn't look like you're making progress. But in reality, we are. And um, you know, it's it's not been as fast as we all wanted, but you know, we're not happy with some of the results sometimes. But the progress is being made. You know. I turn around and look at this building here. It's made out of bricks, you know. It took a long time before it started taking shape. You know, for a long time they were putting bricks up and it just, you didn't know what it was. And then finally it started taking shape and it was toward probably the end of, of its construction. So that's as good an analogy as I can make. But with three games left, is there enough time for the progress to come along? Well, I, well yeah, we need to win. And that's what our whole goal is to win. So uh, that's a great question. Uh, we're pressing them as hard. You know, there's a saying around our place that every day is game day. So we're treating every day. We're trying to get the most out of every day. Um, I've heard uh, uh, somebody else, I'm trying to think who it was, say take all the air out of every day. You know, just we're trying to make the best and make the most of every day, and that's what we've been focusing on. And, uh, you know, we've got three tough opponents. Pittsburgh does a lot of things right. Their offense, they got the leading rusher statistically scoring wise and yard per and this and that. And their offensive lines mean and nasty and huge and, and they've got second best statistically receiver in the conference and it's gonna be a great test. Well, you know, we're gonna have to play our tail off just for us to have a chance. And then obviously Duke you know, a few days later, you know, and they we know the job they're doing and, uh, and then NC State's getting better and better and better. So um, you know, we're, but we're trying to take care of today. We try to get better today because, again, the old saying, when you look too far in front of you, you trip over what's right in front of you. So we're trying to take care of what's right in front of us, which is today. What's been the one or two things you've been most focused on this particular week with the extra time? Uh, well, obviously our fits weren't as good as they needed to be versus Miami. Uh, we had two or three runs you know, where, where our fits weren't where it needed to be or our support pattern in the secondary uh, allowed a run to get out like the 90-yard run. If we squeezed it to the, to the free safety, it would have been a 10-yard run. You know, when the safeties, uh, Tim Scott, who's had his struggles tackling, made two or three as good tackles as I've seen. And Green, made it, who has struggled at times tackling, made two or three of the best tackles I've ever seen them, those guys make against Duke. So, but we, we didn't support it well and squeeze it like we need to. And so we've kind of gone back to basics and make sure we're doing that. And obviously we're still doing the fundamentals and tackling and shedding blocks. We're still not as explosive as we need to get, you know, in a lot of ways. And that's, you know, playing with knee men and shedding blocks and getting down the line. And, you know, I guess I got to go back and work on screens some more. I mean, I, you know, obviously screens, 
have been a killer. Um, we didn't hug the screen. We had a guy supposed to hug the screen, 40 yard, third and 17, just didn't do it. And um, so we got to do that. And then obviously, you know, we, I need to throw a couple of reverses in because we haven't played reverses very well. It was just, just the discipline issue. So, you know, there's everything. So I guess I can sit here and mention a bunch of things we got to work on. Probably be here until midnight. You mentioned Tim. How do you think he's done in his transition from corner to safety this season? Well, um, you know, I think Tim has uh, is not where Tim wants to be. Um, I'm saying that in the most diplomatic terms, and that there's been plays we'd like, we feel he can make, and I, and he feels like he can make. There was two uh, two touchdown passes in the game that you know, hey, we'd like to see you make that play. Um, but I don't think it's not. I don't think he did things dramatically wrong. This one ball was over his head, and the guy made a great catch. And the other one, the guy got inside of him, and he didn't make the play. Um, you know, I think Tim has improved in a lot of aspects, but I just don't think he's where Tim wants to be. You know, taking my judgment out of it, because that'd be unfair. For me to do. When teams go with like jumbo sets for two tight ends against you, and you use that which five is amazing, yeah, which we have a bunch of DBs out there, yeah. Right. Does that put a more of an emphasis on making sure the guys actually fit the gaps correctly to be able to use their well, speed? Yeah, no question. And we have to, uh, you know, we got some physical mismatches when you have big boys like that. And that's something we've talked about. Um, that maybe four two five, we, we got to have a four three or a, or a fifty with the bigger guys package. Like, like Virginia used, you know, Virginia took one of those their big defensive ends and put him as an outside linebacker. So you know, that's something that we need to think about doing in the future.